On January 5th, our government put in place additional public health measures to blunt the transmission of the Omicron variant. At the time, we were seeing very concerning trends emerge. Cases were rising steeply. Percent positivity nearly hit 40%, 10 times higher than when Omicron was first identified in Ontario. Hospitalizations were doubling every seven days. The data was clear. We needed to act. Today, we know it was the right decision. Percent positivity has now dropped to 15.9%. New admissions to hospitals are starting to slow. And patients are spending far less time in the hospital when admitted. And our health system workforce is stabilizing with more people coming back to work than calling in sick. As I said at the time, while necessary, the additional measures were always intended to be time limited. They were one more tool to blunt the spread of Omicron and protect our hospitals. The evidence tells us that these measures are working and that we can expect recent trends to continue as Omicron cases peak this month. And while we can be confident in how far we've come, I want to be crystal clear, we're not out of the woods yet. The coming weeks will continue to pose real challenges, especially to our hospitals. But these are challenges our hospital system can manage. We can be confident in our ability to care for people, to provide hospital beds to those who need them. And we can be confident that the worst is behind us as we look to cautiously ease public health measures. As we do, Ontario will repeat the success of the past reopenings. We're taking a phased approach with 21 days between each step to make sure we haven't moved too fast. Starting January 31st, businesses in Ontario will return to 50% capacity. For the first step, arenas, concert venues and theatres will be capped at 500 people. Social gatherings will increase to 10 people indoors and 25 people outdoors. If trends remain stable or improve, Ontario will move to the next step on February 21st and then March the 14th. Minister Elliott will provide more details on what's included in these steps shortly. But before she does, I know there'll be some who wish we could move faster. As I said, we need to remain cautious, especially with students going back to class this week. And I know there may be some who say we're moving too fast. Now, we want to be absolutely sure these positive trends continue as we move forward. And we want to do everything humanly possible to avoid having to go backwards. If that means pausing between steps for a few extra days, we won't hesitate to do so. The best way to make sure we keep moving forward, the best way to protect our progress is by getting vaccinated. If you haven't already done so, please get your first or second shots. And if you're eligible, boost up as soon as you can. Because so many of you have come forward for your booster dose, Ontario leads the country in third doses. This is fantastic news and something we should all be proud of. But it shouldn't stop us from wanting to do more to protect our families, our communities, and our hard-fought progress. So please do your part, get your shots. It's never too late. Thank you, and God bless the people of Ontario.